their lives away over some poor excuse. Hell fucking no, I won't. What I want, folks, is to just show yourself, your health, and your family some, some fucking leniency before you go out and do this sort of shit to yourself. You only have one life to live. You might as well try to at least treat it right, and no, I'm not going to reference some stupid fucking slang word that everyone's throwing around like it's fucking call wide No, I'm not going in that direction, and you're equally a fucking tard for saying that shit. I'm blistered blood saying that whatever there's shit on the internet and in real life that needs a checkup, the doctor is always in. Pretty much, yeah, I am going to pretty much have to refer to it for you because seriously, you only live once and you and once you die, you're done. So instead of wasting all of your hard earned money on a fucking thirty six pack of bush, spend it, invest it, do something about it that will actually help you in the end. Get help. There are facilities out there, programs, even groups that will take you in and help you get over the problems that might cause you to drink and has, and will help you with the problems of drinking. You just Let's got also to not forget to the fact that there are also people who are also affected by alcoholics and therefore become alcoholics themselves in later life. I like should know because instance. I had a brother who kept on drinking until he had to stop lately. See this? This... All that you said there, blister blood, that's a prime textbook example of why I will never drink, because I... I, I, I admit, I've experimented, but I'm not going to go out and waste my money on, on beer and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I had to take my headphone off, because that actually is a subject that affects me really bad. Because I've had to deal with sh drug addicts and drunks and fucking everybody who's um, fucked up their lives. and So, in general, it made me very depressed. I'm sorry, Seki. No, it's fine. You know what? I'll make everybody happy. I'll play, uh, I'll play an audio clip for everybody. <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. There. You know, I'm happy now. I'm happy. In case, uh, you you, know, in case everybody in the chat was wondering what I played, I played, Haha, <laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. Yes, definitely. But you know, also blood. Um, it kind of uh, made me think too because uh, I I kind of have a family member who will not be named uh, who is a uh, is an alcoholic, and unfortunately, he's now paying the price for it because he has a disease. Ouch! I Let me guess. Uh, some sort of a uh, liver damage? No, uh, it's something worse. Yeah, I'll bet. Maybe cirrhosis. Yeah, but he's not. He's uh, he's now uh, ill, and he's uh, on death's door. But uh, uh, let's just say uh, I hope he's learned his lesson. But yeah. it, but 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 let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Uh, I just want to say right now, this has been uh, one of the most interesting shows we've had so far. I mean, right now it's like earlier we had like forty-seven viewers. We we lost ten, but that's because you know time is uh, of an est of, a, of a beautiful commodity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and plus, uh, I think we have had some people kicked out for being, um, well, fucky ducky McFuck fucks. I you mean know. fucky yeah. ducky McDouchebag? Or, yeah. or, you know what, there's, And uh, creepers. Yeah, yeah, you, you people fucking can bring your virgin asses to hit on Audrey, but here's the problem, you're never gonna get her because you probably have a small fucking cock. And I'm, I'm most of the exactly. time... Exactly. And, yeah. Yeah, you, know, you have a small pee pee. Uh, you p like ponies. Girls don't normally like guys who like ponies. Fucking deal with your lives. Get out of my house. <coughs> and on that note, I just have to say one thing to the people who have been banned. This is from a uh, copy of Minecraft that kind of got taken over by 4chan, but I digress. What? That first play button. What that says. <laughs> yes. Is that offensive? <laughs> I don't care. Because it's. <laughs> Cause that's all I. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny well, way, because the story behind that was somebody was meant to translate that into uh, Africans, and they put that as the play button, and uh, apparently offended a lot of people. But I got a screen cap of it before it got removed. Beautiful. <laughs> Forever a fucking <laughs> troll. You are so beautiful for that. Oh, by the way, uh, Beetlejuice Mod uh, wanted to send us a little message from a long distance, um, you know, message. She says, happy thoughts to everybody. Yeah. Aww. 
thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy and thoughts. just to trash the Please. podcast even more, Please. fuck it. I did it. I did Buddies it. Buddies with blood on their faces. Oh my god. I'm so sad that I only got to the second half of the podcast and not to the set the first. It's okay. It's, it's quite alright, Audrey. Look, look at it, look at it, uh, T-Bone. Look at I it! See, I saw it, I see it. Do, 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 do! <laughs> fuck Vince yeah. Russo! <laughs> do, do! Yeah, fuck Vince Russo. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, uh, I'm trying to get happy thoughts into all of our heads. Hey, you know what? Absolutely. I think it's fucking worked. I think everybody in here is as happy as a Peruvian prostitute with 12 big black cocks shoved straight up her ass. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, well, uh unfortunately guys, I do have to say this because the uh, because of the fact that um for some reason I got to figure out what's wrong with my on my end because I when I try to add people to calls it like freezes the fuck up. I may have to go scan my computer a little bit just because of the fact that Oh my god, Contra. Really? What? I just saw this on the screen. It just popped up just now. What, the cornet face? Yes. <laughs> that is, like, the most amazing thing ever. Oh, <laughs> yes. That is, like, beautiful. You know, uh, here, I am just a troll because I think I may have to take over the podcast for a little while longer. Let me just replace uh, Luna's face or T-Bone's, whatever the fuck's face, with my face. Okay, sure, whatever. We keep doing, you've, you've done this all the time. Fucking fucking tail walking. <laughs> <laughs> tail walking. Oh shit. Oh, I... We're fucking tail walking up Ooh. in this bitch. Oh god, the fucking dolphins! I swear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I... Oh my. Tail walk, Nave. All right. So all I can say right now is, uh, we may be able to take a few more callers, but uh, yeah, that's that. That's pretty much it because. Uh, I don't know, man. We've 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 gone through a lot of shit tonight. We've been having fun. You know what? That honestly, when I bitched about the podcast to you, T Bone, personally, like that was the problem. Was I felt like nobody was having fun anymore. You know what? I feel like we're having fun again. Yeah, that, that that's the whole point. I was wanting to change things. I wanted to change things up for the better, and that's what I was doing tonight. Yeah, you I know like what? It's fucking done for the better, in my opinion. Also, uh, Mr. Rogers it's giving everybody the though. finger. Just uh, saying, right now. Yep, and uh, apparently my Skype is acting up. Ah, uh, shit. I, I, just might as well just say, I might as well just ask if everybody agrees, tonight is better off than the one that we did. That Let's one not Sunday. talk about that one. It's dead. That, that, that recording yeah, of the podcast. Yeah, it's probably best to... That, that recording one. of the oh, podcast... You know what? No. Sure. Let me make an offensive... Let... Can I make an offensive joke at the, at the fucking benefit of everyone, or the detriment of whatever, everyone? That episode of the podcast is deader than Owen Hart. <laughs> oh my god, what? nobody laughed! What? Dude, yeah. oh my god, did I actually thoughts. offend people? Oh god, I, I'm i sorry! Um, oh shit. Um, Let's take some callers. Let's take some callers, shall we? Maybe. Yay! Let's take some callers, okay, uh... We got a uh, mutant Yoshi on here. We got mutant Yoshi here on the illogical podcast. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's get your thoughts on anything now. All right. So uh, I want to get my thoughts across about the Xbox One for one thing. Oh boy. Let's here go. we go again. Okay. So uh, they uh, they get this system to where uh, to where you can't play used games anymore. If you insert a disc into the Xbox One and downloads it, it's useless now. You might as well throw it away after you use it. Why? Why do you Bad. want to crush the used game industry when that's holding these game companies up? Bad company decisions. They're just... They think they know better, but obviously they don't. And uh, you have a connect. That watches people. Okay, first of all, the Kinect was a massive failure. Stop trying to shove it down everyone's throats. It's like you purchase this motion detection system that's only useful on a PC, and you're trying to shove it down everyone's throats even after it's not selling well. Why are you doing this? 
Probably they didn't even learn that. You know, do you remember the the, uh, the, uh, the review, guys? Do you remember the review of Star Wars by John Tron? Yes. Uh, oh, yes. A one connect game. Did How you remember the scene? Did you remember when all of a sudden you go into the club and you hear that song? I'm not going to mention this because I bet most of you will know this as well. And you saw Han Solo dancing and John Tron going, Oh my god! Uh, that kind of shit that they put on just for that. Trying to put trying to make the connect just so you'll be dancing to a fucking parody of a song from a guy you probably didn't want by a movie you don't want to be parody to buy. Well, on certain occasions. Uh, you think that, that they think as, as that. if the fucking prequels didn't murder Star Wars bad enough. God damn it! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but this isn't about Star Wars. Remember, this is about the Xbox One. I know. Just everything that is wrong with the gaming industry, Microsoft is doing. Mega Man, guys, good question. How do you feel yes. about being in Brawl? On a happier note. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, mention. Oh yeah, I should have mentioned that to you guys earlier, but uh, I've been too busy getting ready, and I didn't get a chance to tell anyone before the trailer was out. So uh, yeah, it's it's going to be pretty fun, though. I'm kind of nervous because there are humans there, and you know I can't. I'm not allowed to hurt them. Not if yeah, we remove. Not if we remove that. Up. I was about to say, now if we remove that parameter, motherfucker, go have fun. Fuck the second law of robotics. <laughs> Yeah, and make sure you shove uh, that axe uh, right up at uh, the villager's ass uh, while you're at. It. <laughs> you know what? There, there we go. Just to re just to fuck with T Bone even more because I'm an asshole like that. Let's replace his face one more time. There we go. Okay. Anyway, you want to know something genius though? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. You you want to know who patented the system? Everyone in the chat room. You want to know yeah. who patented? The system for the Xbox One's plan to eradicate used games? Who was that? Mm -hmm. That would be Sony. Really? They, so, they yeah. developed this, and then they sold it to Microsoft for a buttload of money. You know what's even funnier? They aren't even using that program for their console. I think... You know what? If this is true, if what you... I'm going to have to research this more. But if what you are saying is, in fact, true... This could mean that Sony planned for X for Microsoft to make this dumb mistake all along. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So <laughs> Sony wants to control the gaming industry and take it back from the corporate masters. Good. Yeah, so uh, good. so uh, basically, in conclusion, Microsoft, get out of the gaming industry because you're bad at it. Stick with computers. Oh, wait! You're bad at that too. Windows 8 is proof. Aw, oh, man. Aw. Oh. Yeah, you're right, though. Man, I wish I could post some fucking gore artwork on here, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be an absolute All right. dick. Alright, well, thanks a lot, uh, Mega Man. Appreciate your uh, time for this. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, let's get somebody else in here. Uh, I got a Saka one. was wanting to come back in. I'll tell you what, we'll save him, uh, we'll save him for last, because we got a bunch of people that didn't get a chance to call, and I, and I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, okay we got, uh, we got Septic Art. Septic Art, someone <laughs> familiar on, uh, Tumblr. Yeah. Septic Art, you're on the Illogical yeah. Podcast, if you're still here. Septic Art. Hello, hello. 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 Ooh, my cross. Ah! I'll tell you this. I have never been so disappointed at a corporation in all of my fucking life. I, I thought this was Septicard, not uh, Baron Von Strangle, was it? No, I thought it was fucking Ren Hoke there for about ten seconds. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is Septicard, your one and only savior. <laughs> one and only savior? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you may be a good funny. artist, dude, and you might be uh, ideal for that one thing you sent me, mm -hmm. but uh, you're not savior. <laughs> not yet, by the way. <laughs> but good damn it all! And let me get started with this. Who 
the motherfucking fuck wants to connect back on Xbox One? Anybody? Nobody. Anybody? Nobody. Well, the only reason why I think uh, anybody would uh, get a connector nowadays, the first connect would be for, uh, let's see, what was it now? Oh, Gary's Mod? Hello! Whoosh. Of course. I mean, have you seen those animations, by the way? It's quite great, especially the one with the, uh, when the engineers point each other's leg. Uh, we'll get that, that. I'll put a link somewhere later. But, okay, second of all, who was DRM where Xbox One controls how, what game, use games? Are, are practically illegal now. Huh? Huh? Gamers? Still you, you want to... Of course, it's, Xbox One is entirely not for the gamer. No, not for the gamers anymore. I mean, who wants their features based on television viewing? Like, hey, I'm watching The Price is Right. I'm going to be Skype my friend. Hey, Gonzo, I'm watching The Price is Right. Isn't that cool? And I must Skype. <laughs> Fuck that shit! Yeah, I'm about to say, if you're watching The Price is Right through <laughs> Xbox, <laughs> I got you bad have news more for you, fucking son. problems than you would like to admit to. <laughs> I and got then, some bad news, son. One more thing. They brought Kill Instinct back. Listen, I might, I might offend somebody, but I like the new Kill Instinct that's coming up for the Xbox One, even though I hate it. And... And I've been following it with, uh, you know, Miles923, the YouTube guy who does the, uh, what's the, what's the thing? Assist me. There we go. Anybody? No? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, not I don't know. know. Holy shit, man. Well, anyway, that's totally backfired on me. But, uh, it has a good fighting game engine, but it's on Xbox One. It's, it's, a, it's a trap, but it's an obvious trap. So I'm going to PC. I'm just going to build my new PC. Going to buy a Wii U, 3DS, and PS4. Yes, a PS4. Even though it has some bullshit in it. At least it's not illogical. <laughs> right. Hey, hey. That's also why there's Metal Gear Rising. Ow, oh, fuck my arm. <laughs> I might need to get a PS3 too, just in case. <laughs> well, they're gonna actually. They're going to let you stream PS or download PS3 games on your PS4. They're gonna all be digitally uh, downloadable. So even wow. if you don't oh, own a PS3, you can just go buy them off of the PlayStation Network. Bam! Problem solved. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I'm going to be. Or Nintendo and PC. Microsoft! Good boy! Good boy! No! You want a PS4 with that? That's it! I'm like, done! Like I said, I deal with bullshit, but what kind of bullshit I can stand today? Not fucking this! I think we'll need to let you go. <laughs> yeah, please do. I need to say Pinkie Pie again. Later! Thank you know, th this is all. Thought, septic. Hold on, I got a uh, GIF that pretty much fits how poor Septic is feeling. Fuck! Yep. This! Thread! I'm out! <laughs> <laughs> I had it. I had it, Jeff, out of my little pony, but I'm still working out the kinks, so... Uh, I'll get back to you on that shit. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, who the hell else can we get here real quick? Uh, I got, got something by the name of Pearl... Pearl, if you're still a uh, dark pearl, if you're still in the um, if you're still in the chat, this is your chance. You're on the illogical podcast. Oh, hey. We interviewed him last Saturday. Cool. Well, he's about to be on our show. Pearl, you're on the illogical podcast. What's up? Yes. Hello. Uh, I, I know. I know. Hello. We kind of, I know. We kind of uh, left you hanging there for almost an hour, but um, it's just that we were um. We have some technical issues and whatnot, but regardless, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, and it's okay. So, anyways, yeah. what did you want to say about the Xbox One or anything like that? Well, in my perspective of the Xbox One, I think I feel betrayed. After what happened, I feel betrayed. Uh, what, 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 was it, what was worse for you, the Kinect, uh, Killer Instinct, or what? Everything! Welcome Everything to my world. that we Xbox hats. One 
stands for, it was, I just felt like I was just shitted on after seeing it. And even if, you know, I'm not a fan, I used to be a fan of PlayStation until PlayStation 3's disaster. And yeah, I, their service sucked, and I hated them for disbanding the PlayStation 2 compatibility. But the thing I see, Xbox gave it to the point that they were there for you. Now they're not there for you. They're against you now. So in my case, yeah, I may be an Xbox fan, but I say, fuck it, I'm going to PlayStation. Even if the help system sucks, I'll go for it. Hey, I'm right behind you there, buddy. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> And as for Killer Instincts, uh, it's good, but I think they went the wrong direction with it. Yep, I can agree wholeheartedly with that, too. I mean, still, Double Helix, who the hell is that? No I, idea. The I ass like they are the assholes who ruined Silent Hill. And he left. Just, I can just rage quit on this. <laughs> No, uh, I've never played Silent Hill Downpour, and I've actually wanted to, but it, is it really that bad? You can go ask Double Helix yourself. It's, gonna, it's probably going to be as much of a disaster as Killer Instinct will be. But we wouldn't know that because it's for Xbox One, so we won't even know if it, for sure. Oh, don't worry. Well, go well, ahead. Oh, don't worry. Because I'm pretty sure Adam Sessler and anyone else uh, who's like hardcore into gaming, they're going to they're gonna rail on this game. Because if you remember, Adam Sessler, uh, he was originally uh, one of the reviewers on uh, X-Play, and they did not oh, play around. X-Play starts sucking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, uh, back in the day when X-Play actually gave legitimate reviews and uh, bashed on anything that sucked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember the good old days of gaming. Before things I, just before, before Microsoft. Before everything. Before Call of Duty fucking ruined the gaming market with its corporate bullshit. Fuck Call of fucking fuck Call of fucking bitch. I know it's one really game much. that I'm looking forward to in the future, and that's Amnesia Machine for Pigs. There. I, I yes. really hope that they fix all the problems that I have with Amnesia, because that would be nice. I never got to try Amnesia. Oh, well, you probably should. All right, uh, thanks a lot so much for your uh, input there, Pearl. Appreciate all it. All right. Catch. Okay, and uh, of course, Skype is going to glitch on me again. Thank you very much, Skype. All right. Game. Yeah, I, I got to really work on this. Later on the night. All right, we got time for one more, and I think we're gonna call it a night. And that's gonna be our dear friend Naga Nerd. Very quickly, I'm gonna Nag put up a picture that's my general reaction to this console. Perfect. All right. So All right, let's hear it. So, sorry about that. Um, I just had to pause the stream in my computer. Mega Nerd, listening. how's it going? Oh, nothing much. Actually, um, I'm not even gonna talk about a certain subject because I just want to ask, how have you guys weeks been? Um, aside from some of the, aside from having to go through three fucking Dreamcasts, okay, no, aside, the three Dreamcast thing has pretty much destroyed my week. Just saying. Aw, that sucks. Yeah. Well, the sad thing is that uh... most, most of you guys seem to be having pretty bleak, um, weeks, I mean, I mean, I mean of course, with Blister Blood and his mother, and, um, uh, I don't know what happened to the rest of you guys, but... I mean, it's been a pretty boring week. It's like, I expected summer to, I mean, it's like I worked my ass off, not kinda, just so I can, you know, have a decent summer, although it's been boring pretty much. I mean, besides E3 keeping me entertained and, you know, all the stupid bullshit on Tumblr with, oh my god, how dare you hate your homosexuals or something like that. It's been pretty boring. It's Tumblr. Um, it's filled with oversensitive little shits who don't know how to take a fucking joke and <laughs> need to learn to shut up and and let everyone eat their fucking cake. 
Can I just Screw say you, it, Audrey, I have feelings too. You know how you know what I like to Fuck say about you know what I like to say about Tumblr? It's Asperger's United. That's what Tumblr yeah. is. I'm gonna call it that from now on. <laughs> Asperger's Everybody reblog this twit reblog this fucking stream if you wanna rename Tumblr to Asperger's United. I wouldn't mind I that. <laughs> I'd be down for that in a heartbeat. Like all of a sudden, everybody's just said, said against my dis against my mental disorder. Um, what the fuck? hey, I I that have high functioning ironic. autism, and I still think that you know, and I still call everything that, or I still call people who uh you know, are like ew, you don't like my opinion, I'm gonna kill you, you're a faggot. I still say that they have Aspergers. Actually, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of us in this um, uh, chat has Asperger's, and we're not offended at all. Yeah. Well, I do. That's the fact. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> here does. What are you talking yeah. about? I'm sorry. I'm adding another title to this, because fucking... I actually want to quote Go a friend of mine, Goldeneye. Tumblr's gay. Nigga, Tumblr's gay. It ain't even spelled right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meet me slash me agrees. Nice. I mean... Seriously, though, I mean, at first when I joined Tumblr, I got bored of it within, like, five minutes, but when I joined it again, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, this stuff seems pretty cool. It's like, oh, vintage stuff, remodernized and shit, but when I started following my friends and shit, all I keep seeing is, like, a lot of extremely shitty feminist shit, a lot of retarded fandoms keep posting each other and keep bullying each other over the fact that they didn't get a fucking joke. Um, oh my god. I oh, I, you ended up seeing that post too, I assume. Oh my god. Yeah, oh. I saw it like five times today. And let's not forget all these um, <laughs> urban legends. In fact, I'm actually stumbled across one today. Um, it was about this one thing in which um, apparently these gang people kept, you know... Oh like, yes, yes. Would you, would you permit me to elaborate as to what he is about to mention? Go ahead. Here's the thing. There's this urban legend that pretty much goes that if you uh, have your drive around with your lights off and you flash them around, you will be killed by a gang member. As the flashing is a uh, supposedly a gang initiation, supposedly reported by the Los Angeles police. It's supposed to be an initiation for the uh, uh, gang to pretty much open fire at a car, kill everybody inside, and that new get and that new guy becomes a member of the gang, which and everything is false. You wanna know what? Can yes, I say I another one too, very quickly? Um, to all you Go people ahead. who've reblogged this thing and called it true, where if you cough during a heart attack, um, you're gonna get better or it's gonna help it. I want you to know that you've probably killed at least five <laughs> people. No, shut the fuck up, because this is true. You've probably killed about five people. Because if you cough during a heart attack, it's actually going to agitate the condition. And if you think that that is true, you are a fucking retard, and you should just shove your head into an open oven. Oh, cool. you know what? I mean, you can type down anything on fucking Tumblr, and people are going to fucking believe it, because... <laughs> I might as well just say yeah, it. Yeah, that makes me smart guys, and culture yeah, cool. I really, <laughs> there's I actually a post on. on Tumblr that perfectly oh. sums it up. It's like, God, Tumblr teaches me a lot, one Tumblr user says, as he constantly reblogs urban legend myths that have been proven false multiple times. <laughs> it's sad because it's fucking true. Also, everybody, here's the hashtag to follow on Twitter. Uh, follow hashtag Tumblr Aspergers if you really want to uh, join in on the conversation <laughs> on Tumblr. Um, also, remember to use the uh, to use the uh, Illogical Podcast app, which we're going to advertise ten bazillion times because we're like the WWE and we're faggots. Go on. I think mean, Godzo wanted to say I, something too. Go on, Godzo. Yeah. I, it's these kind of urban things. It's not just restricted to Tumblr. Tumblr might have a lot of them, but it's not restricted to that. We're talking about the entire internet where you can type something and people will be so fucking – they'll just believe whatever is typed on there. Well, actually, Some people Gonzo. are that dumb and gullible. Gonzo about that, though. It's like I know that, but Tumblr is just like the worst example, man. I've never seen so many fucking people – I mean, I'll be honest, even I have fallen bay into this, and I'm pretty sure some of you have too, yeah. but it's like, I've never seen so many fucking people be so fucking retarded over a single post without at least checking Snopes. 
It's recorded! You know what, can I just say something right now? Just because somebody doesn't get your fucking silly little shitty fandom joke on Tumblr doesn't mean you have to get your fucking panties in a bunch. Not everybody's a part of your fandom. Not everybody gives a fuck about your fandom.